Well, hello, this is Maria and welcome. Today we have such an exciting lesson. I am going to teach about Moby Dick. Yes, the story of Moby Dick is fascinating. Written by Herman Melville, one of the greatest American writers. Herman Melville was born on August 1st, 1819 in New York City. What's the capital of New York? Albany, yes, Albany, and New York is one of the first original 13 colonies, remember? New Jersey, New York, and North Carolina, remember those 13 original colonies? New York is one of them. So Herman Melville, born in New York, one of the greatest American writers, wrote Moby Dick. Now, why did he call it Moby Dick? Well, he wrote this story about this whale, this humongous whale, and he named it Moby Dick. And there were these sailors, and one of them kept Captain Ahab, Captain Ahab, he wanted to capture that Moby Dick because he had taken one of his legs away. He bit it off. And Captain Ahab was just determined and adamant. Adamant means determined, synonym words. Adamant and determined to capture Moby Dick. Well, he gathers a crew and he takes them. And guess in that crew, there was one particular sailor, guess what his name was? You won't believe it. Starbuck. Yes, like Starbucks. Let's go have some coffee at Starbucks. Starbuck was one of the characters' names. Now, Starbuck was a very wise sailor. He would tell Captain Ahab, Listen, Captain Ahab, let's take a break from this. I mean, I don't think we should be going chasing down Moby Dick. It's just not good. I mean, he already took your leg. But... Captain Ahab was very persistent and kept saying, no, we are going to capture Moby Dick. Well, I would like for you to read it so you can find out what happens at the end. And um, it's a story about what the results and the consequences of continuing to persist on something where you get a lot of warnings for you not to continue to do so. Because Starbuck was one of those sailors that kept telling Captain Ahab, you should stop, but he kept on. And then Captain Ahab even runs into another ship where another sailor sees him with a missing arm, also captured by Moby Dick. And that sailor tells Captain Ahab, hey, Captain Ahab, you're looking for Moby Dick who got your leg and got my arm and you're still chasing after him? But Captain Ahab continued. So let's sing about Herman Meville, the writer, the author of Moby Dick. All right, here we go. Herman Melville, Herman Melville, wrote Moby Dick, wrote Moby Dick. Moby Dick was a famous novel about humongous whale, humongous whale. Herman Melville, Herman Melville, wrote about Moby Dick in his novel, wrote about Moby Dick in novel. So in that song, you know that Herman Melville was the author of Moby Dick. Let's do it one more time. Herman Melville, Herman Melville, wrote about Moby Dick in his novel. Moby Dick, Moby Dick, a big humongous whale, a big humongous whale. 